In today's video, we're going to take a look at Walmart gear for survival that doesn't suck. Or maybe it does. Stick around. So I love finding deals on gear, and if you've watched any of my videos from even way back when I started the channel, there's a whole series that I did on budget bushcraft, and um, one of my go-to places for finding bargains and finding gear that's not going to break the bank has been Walmart, and I've even done a video on camping gear that I found at Walmart, and Today what I want to do is I want to show you a pack that I've put together where the entire contents, 99.9% um, .9 of the contents are from Walmart. So the reason I want to do this is because I want people to be able to see that you don't always have to spend tons and tons of money to get a bag together to go out and do stuff. And especially if you're looking to put together a bag for your truck or your car as like a get home bag or a survival bag, a grab and go kind of bag, um, you may not want to put a lot of money into it because there's always the potential of someone breaking into your vehicle and stealing your gear. And if you have a lot of money wrapped up in that stuff, it's going to hurt. Even if you're insured, it's still going to sting. So I want to show you what I came up with when I went shopping at Walmart and found a lot of cool stuff that actually is pretty darn good and worth considering. And maybe these are a few items that you can throw in your bag or maybe you can put an entire kit together like I have that may get you going uh, for your next uh, outing or putting in your vehicle for a get home bag or for survival. So let's jump right into it and take a look at what I have found. All right, so Walmart has just so much stuff recently in their camping section um, and also throughout the store that's really suited for building a, a really nice or decent survival kit um, that will get you started. So the first thing that I found, and that's kind of really started this whole process for me, was this bag. Um, this backpack... Um, it is carried in the stores at Walmart in the camping section. It runs about fourteen to fifteen dollars, um, and I I just couldn't believe that that pack was that cheap. Um, now, granted, it is not a super quality backpack. It is, I believe, the company is Outdoor Products. Um, it's a very you know lower quality backpack but I was really surprised at just carrying it how comfortable it was for such a small backpack um, and how well it organized my gear and held everything that I put together so um, only thing that I've done to this bag so far that's uh, not stock is that I removed the zipper pulls that were on it and I replaced them with 550 cord um, one thing to note uh, I think the probably the weakest point of this backpack is going to probably be the zippers themselves. They're very small. Uh, they're not YKK that, um, that I can tell. Um, so there's potential that these could blow out in the future. But you don't know until you try it. But if you're not really using the bag all the time, it's just a storage device that goes in your truck or your car, uh, this might be all right. Now some of the features that I really liked about this bag right off the bat that it had some molly on the front of it. Um, don't really care for that contrasting like tan color. I wish they had just made that the same green as the pack, but you know, whatever. It's, it's a $14 backpack, right? But this at least allows you to attach some military pouches, some military surplus pouches on there. 
um, which helps you expand the pack and keep it more organized. Other features that I really found pretty cool about this is that it has water bottle pockets on the side that you can actually uh, cinch down with these cord locks and they will hold a 32 ounce uh, size water bottle which is fantastic. That's always a feature I look for in backpacks um, for myself when I'm buying them. I really want exterior water bottle pockets so I can get to my water quickly and they have to be able to hold a 32 ounce bottle not the skinny bottles because the you know you need to carry a lot of water you need to stay hydrated when you're out hiking and especially if we're talking about you know some type of scenario uh, where you may be out um, for a couple days unplanned having water a plenty of water to drink um, is really is really crucial so and there's water bottle pockets on both sides of the pack <clears throat> another thing I really liked about it was the shoulder straps are actually pretty comfortable and they are long enough to uh, actually I'm able to, to wear the backpack and be comfortable and that's a lot of backpacks of this size because this is a small backpack and I it's I think uh, I'll have to look it up it's like 18 liters something like that it's really small um, but usually the straps don't go out far enough and I'm kind of broad-shouldered and uh, you know I get this little backpack and I'm trying to get on my shoulders and it's not very comfortable this thing carries really well um, and I was really surprised um, you know it's got the the mesh material on the back so that's going to kind of help with uh, <clears throat> heat mitigation and, and perspiration um, there's not much padding in the back of the backpack itself but I'll show you a trick that I came up with for that um, but so the you know the straps themselves are really decent quality and then it has a, a sternum strap that's adjustable um, up and down so if you're taller you can move this all the way down to the bottom and it's gonna it's gonna ride well for you and that's what I did and it, it's actually very comfortable and there's plenty of room and give in that sternum strap so you can't beat it it's just it, it's a really nice little bag for the money um, no other attachment points there's nothing on the bottom there are no drain holes so this thing is really uh, doesn't have many features to it but uh, the pockets are pretty nice so we've got a small zipper pocket up here you've got kind of what I would consider an admin pocket and this actually has some organization in it there's some slip pockets in here and there is a keeper for your keys or a light or whatever so you know you can you can organize some of your stuff um, so overall pretty decent uh, only one zipper on this pocket uh, you know most tactical packs and more high-end backpacks will have two zippers so you can get from it get to it from either side this only has one but the main compartment does have dual zippers and that allows you to get into the backpack uh, pretty easily zippers don't go all the way down because of the water bottle pockets so you're only going to go about you know a quarter of the length of the pack open but it's more than enough since it's such a small bag um, you do have a grab handle. Now, um, when I bought this, it had this grab handle, and then it had a really small one. And I don't know why I had two. I, I think the small one was to hang it on the, the pegs at the store, so I just cut that off. I mean, I don't need two grab handles. Um, another thing to note is there is a hydration uh, port, so if you want to run a hydration bladder inside the pack, uh, there is a port for that. Now one thing I, I talked about not having any padding on the back of the backpack. What I did is I took our friend the uh, blue foam pad that you find in the camping section. I have a roll of this at my place and every time I get a backpack I cut up a little section of it and stick that in my backpack so because it becomes a sitting pad, a kneeling pad, and in a bag like this it is actually providing um, some padding to the back since there isn't much with this bag so 
going to utilize that right now. Let's set on that. Uh, there is a hanger for your hydration bladder, which is a great feature. And there is a, a pocket uh, with elastic uh, to hold your hydration bladder. And you can probably do a two to three liter uh, bag in here easily and it'll fit fine. So that's the backpack itself. Um, let's take a look at some of the contents and the other cool stuff that I've found. I don't know what is going on. There's a plane that is just constantly buzzing around over my head. It's like, I, uh, I won't say what I'm thinking, but anyway, got to deal with it, right? So other gear that I found at Walmart that I think is pretty awesome. One thing that uh, Walmart has a huge supply of every time I go into the store are these water bottles. Um, they're very much like a Nalgene. They're 32 ounces. Um, what's cool about them is they actually have the cap that you can drink from um, like that. So there, you can buy caps like this as an aftermarket for Nalgene's. I think they're called Cap Caps or something like that from Human Gear. I've got a couple of older ones on my Nalgene's and I love them because when you're drinking from a, the big water bottle, it's got that pour spout. And you don't have all that water rushing all over your face and spilling all over the place. So it makes it really easy to drink from. And then if you want to fill it, you can undo the top cap and you can put ice in there or fill it from the faucet. So it's, an, it's a nice bottle and what's cool about it is um, I've seen these for five bucks. I actually saw them on sale one time. They're like a dollar something. I think they're back up to five now, but they come in several different colors. And they have a bunch of them at the store um, in the camping section. So definitely pick up a couple of these. They're pretty decent quality. And they do have graduation marks on the side. So if, you, if you're doing dehydrated meals, that gives you the opportunity to do some measurement. Uh, another item that's really important for a survival kit is protecting your hands. Gloves are so important. Um, whatever kit you put together, you need to have some type of gloves because you're working with knives and saws and you're processing wood and you're, and you're hiking and grabbing things in the woods and you want to protect your hands. Your hands are so important. And I found this pair of hyper tough gloves and I really like these because they have kind of a, a canvas uh, type material on the outside and then this uh, grippy suede material on the palm um, and they're gathered. So debris is not gonna get down in my glove as much. Um, and they're really, you know, with everything with Walmart, they're really affordable. I got these in the, the tool section, um, hardware section, but man, they're nice gloves. Uh, you know, I don't think they were that much, maybe 12 bucks, something like that, something in that neighborhood. Um, and these really, you know, these are just as good as my mechanics uh, wear gloves that I buy. Um, and they look great and they're, they're very comfortable. Another thing you're gonna need in your survival kit is a first aid kit. That's really important. Of course, get training, but you need some kind of basic stuff uh, just to cut, to, you know, take care of those minor cuts and abrasions. Um, and I found this little kit for under $5 in the uh, pharmacy section. And what I liked about it was that it was a complete kit it had the the locking box that keeps everything together um, and keeps it from getting squished and getting wet um, and it's really a decent little kit so i'm not going to take everything out but it comes with bandages uh topicals and medicines instruments such as gloves uh tape uh q-tips uh uh, tongue depressor, um, you know, ice pack, and then wound dressings of different sizes. So 85 items. Um, there's a whole list here on the back. Check that out when you go to Walmart. That is awesome. Five bucks from Equate. 
decent little first aid kit. Fantastic. Okay, now we're getting into some cool stuff. Um, one of the all-time greatest products that Walmart has ever carried in its camping section is this guy. And it's not by Walmart. It is by, from a very reputable company, Stanley. And this is the Stanley Adventure Pot. <clears throat> These are under $20. Uh, I think sometimes they're like in the $15 to $16 range. Uh, it is a stainless steel single wall pot. Um, as you can see, mine has been very well used. Uh, it is fantastic um, to use with a stove, to use on a fire. Uh, of course, there's different mods you can do to it. Um, I removed the plastic tab on mine and put a split ring on it. And that allows me to hang it from a fire or from a, you know, like a, um, a chain or a stick over a fire so I can cook over an open fire if I want to. Um, what's great about this pot is, and some people don't know this, that if you buy the cheap nesting cup that they sell at Walmart, it fits right on the bottom of that, of that Stanley pot. So now you have a metal cup, which gives you another vessel for boiling and drinking water, cooking in, and another cooking pot. So now you got two pots, um, which is awesome. And the other cool thing about the Stanley Pot is it will nest the small ISO uh, butane uh, propane fuel mix canisters. So this is the Jet Boil. Uh, now these, they don't sell these small canisters at Walmart. So this is the one item that I didn't get at Walmart. I get these usually at REI, uh, but they fit perfectly inside the pot and the pot comes with two of these cups, um, which are really decent uh, coffee cups. And they're, you know, they're, there's some uh, insulation to them, so they keep your drink warm. I only use one cup uh, because it's usually just me out in the woods. So I, I put the cup in there, and then what I do is I take the, the can fuel canister and I flip it upside down, and it nests perfectly inside the Stanley. So right there, I've got a means of boiling water and cooking food, um, which is so important um, when you're out in the woods. And the handle folds up <clears throat> very neatly. And that all nests in the, in the Stanley pot. Now, if you're gonna have um, a cooking pot, uh, it's really a good idea to have some type of stove. And this is a recent find um, that I was just blown away by. Um, <clears throat> I just kind of happened upon this on YouTube. I watched another guy do a review of this stove, and it's from Mozart Trail, um, which is sold at Walmart. And it is a very nice uh, gas stove, and this works with all the different size fuel bottles. So you just screw that on there. It has a piezo igniter. And then the pot supports fold out like that. Now you have a very nice little stove. Um, What's great about this stove is it was running about twelve or thirteen dollars at Walmart, but it comes with more stuff than just the stove. So there's the stove. You get a carrying case. You get an adapter that hooks to the bottom of the stove, and then this will go into the green propane bottles that they sell at Walmart. So that gives you another option uh, for fuel. In any and in a situation where uh, you may be scrounging uh, for different fuel sources, having this ability to go to the propane bottles, which are very common um, in stores uh, and at campgrounds, uh, having this adapter 
is awesome and they sell these adapters on Amazon but they're you know they're like ten or twelve dollars themselves so getting it with the stove is a bonus but wait there's more uh, there is a really awesome stand and how this works is it's kind of tricky to figure it out but I done it a couple times and I think I got it figured out so this is going to support the canister um, when you're cooking what I do is I snap it on and then yeah then I unfold it and that gives you a stable base so if you're on uneven ground uh, you don't have to worry about your your pot falling over so fantastic uh, piece of gear um, I was really surprised by this. Now, let's go ahead and open it up. There we go. What, that jet is up here. Let's see how much adjustability I've got. There we go going the wrong way. So you turn that down. To a very fine low flame so you can conserve gas. And then if you want to ramp it up. So it Let's try that again. So you got adjustability, um, and then with the pot stand, uh, you have stability, and that's really great. So, so another th great thing about this stove uh, that I forgot to mention is it has a side pocket right here, and you can put the stove stand in that, but you can fit the small gas bottles in this pouch along with the adapter and the stove itself. Um, and it closes up nicely and you got one nice little kit. So I've got my stove. I've also got a very nice um, mess kit and this is from a brand I pronounce it Uko, U-C-O, and um, Uko really makes some nice gear, and this mess kit is pretty awesome. It comes with the spork, and you open it up, and you pop the lid, and you've got two uh, sections that you can use, one for a plate, one for a bowl. Of course, Walmart, you know, most of the Walmarts have food in them. So you can find things like uh, beef sticks. Um, I found this in the grocery section. This is pulled pork. This is great value. I've had this in my ramen. It's fantastic and it's very affordable. So that and of course ramen noodles. So you've got some survival food that you can pick up when you're, when you're stocking up your kit and pick up one of these mess kits and you've got something to eat out of so you don't have to live like a barbarian. Very nice um, kit. It's got a, a kind of a rubber uh, silicone uh, bead on the bottom of it so it keeps it from slipping around on the table. Uh, and the, the lid actually, I don't know if you noticed when I was showing this, it has a gasket to it. So that is gonna help uh, keep the contents sealed and if you have uh, maybe some leftover food, you can put it in here, seal that down, and it's going to keep it from leaking all over the place. It might help keep it for a little bit longer. And then one item that um, I use in all my kits, and even for camping, are these steaks. Uh, these are from Kuglin's. They're very affordable. Uh, they're a Y steak. They're aluminum. 
Uh, this is the way they come with this white cord on it. I usually take that cord off and put something a little bit brighter, like some neon orange or green. Um, but for tent stake, they are awesome. And um, the reason I have tent stakes is because if you saw in the in the beginning of the video, I was uh, setting up a tarp on the ground to sit on, but this tarp um, is actually big enough to sleep under. And this is another great um, outdoor products um, that they sell at Walmart. And this is the five by seven tarp, comes in this little bag. So very affordable, um, it's like a $10 item. Uh, it's a great multi-purpose item like a, like right now I'm using it as my ground cloth so I can sit on because the ground's very wet today um, but if I wanted to I could string that up between a couple of trees do a little bit of a lean-to and I could be sleeping under there if I had to so for an emergency shelter uh, that doesn't break the bank it's definitely worth looking at fantastic piece of gear and of course uh, Walmart always has um, paracord so pick up a couple hanks of that and you're set for setting up a shelter with your tent stakes now on the inside pocket here I've got this pouch I don't know if um, you can buy this pouch at Walmart I've had this for a while um, it's from CLC which is a, um, a company that makes um, bags for the construction industry so they may not sell this at Walmart but there's similar stuff at Walmart I'm sure um, this is what I had, so I'm using that. But you're going to need some gear uh, to start fires and to repair things. So uh, Gorilla Tape, available at Walmart. Always a good thing to have in a survival kit. Like I said, paracord. They do sell paracord um, in the camping section. Um, you're going to need a means of starting fire. So pick up some Bic lighters. There's, you, those are usually um, in the checkout lanes. Another great product from Uko is this match safe. And what I love about this thing is uh, it is these nice beefy lifeboat style matches. Comes in a watertight container. They also sell the refills. So if you run out, you can buy more matches. Um, and it has a striker on the side and it comes with an extra striker and these things burn like crazy and um, if you put them out in water they will and you pull it out they will reignite so they are a fantastic way of starting a fire um, i love uko Lifeboat matches or waterproof matches. They're fantastic. Great product. Always want to have multiple ways of starting a fire in a survival kit. That is important. Never rely on one thing. So I've got a lighter, I've got matches, and then my final thing for starting a fire is this fire steel. This is an Ozark Trail special. And um, I was kind of surprised about how well it does. So you've got the striker, you got the ferro rod. It does a decent job of sending sparks. Um, it's fantastic. And bright orange so you can find it so you don't lose it. And then it's got a lanyard on it that keeps the, the striker and the rod together so you don't lose those nice little piece of kit um, I'm actually thinking about picking up more of these and sticking them in in various um, survival kits that I make because I have some smaller ones and this would fit perfectly in those and I'm I'm impressed by the amount of sparks that it throws for the size it is and it's uh, it's like a four dollar item and then a couple other things that you can always pick up at Walmart um, Sometimes these are in the automotive section of quarter of the night eye or the uh, <clears throat> of course of the night eyes s beaners. They were just great for uh, setting up shelters, uh, attaching stuff to the outside of your bag. So pick up some of those and then get some kind of organizer pouch to keep all your stuff together so it's not floating around. Or use baggies. That's another great way. It keeps things waterproof. 
glow sticks. Um, I picked these up after Halloween on, in the clearance section. They usually have like bins of them for like a dollar or 50 cents or something. Uh, but you can pick them up, I think, throughout the year. These, this is just a green one. Uh, it's even got a lanyard that it comes with. So, of course, the kitties pick these up for Halloween, use them for trick-or-treating. But they work just fine for, for a survival bag. So you don't have to spend a lot of money on them. So get them at Walmart. Stuff's breaking up pretty easy, so it should be good. That's rotten. That's rotten. Get up here. It's got some green stuff coming off of it too, but it's like half of it's dead, half of it's alive. Strange. It's wet on the inside. It's got green stuff coming off of it, but parts of it are breaking off like it's dead. I don't don't quite know what's happened. It's just not quite dead yet, I guess. Uh, definitely not as efficient as my silky, um, but I think it did fine for that little bit of cutting. So as an emergency saw to throw in your pack, I don't think you'll have a problem with this. It should be just fine. Wish I had more stuff to cut. Of course, another thing you really need in a survival bag or kit is some kind of light source. Headlamps are the way to go. Um, that way you can work hands-free. Um, prefer those over flashlights. I found this little headlamp at Walmart. This is an Ozark Trail. It's got um, a main light. It's got a couple different levels, and then it's got a, um, I guess, kind of more of an area light on the side. And then if you want, you can actually do both for more light. So, and what's cool about this is, um, is it's rechargeable. So it comes with a USB, I think that's a USB micro or C, and it plugs in right in the bottom and charges it up. Uh, headband is really comfortable and adjustable and then the back uh, plate actually has kind of a soft uh, foam uh, kind of velour type material so it's on your forehead it doesn't um, it doesn't hurt it doesn't you know cause a hot spot it's, it's very comfortable I guess is what I'm trying to say so it's a really decent little headlamp um, I think this was definitely under $20, um, maybe even under $15 if I remember correctly. I bought it last year and I've been using it camping and I really like it. Um, just a decent little headlamp. And they have all kinds of headlamps at uh, Walmart. There's, all di there's different brands and there's different lumens. Um, you can go super cheap, like a couple dollars. Um, I wouldn't suggest that. Um, but you know, spend just a little bit more and get something decent quality that's going to last you. So I got that. Definitely need a good headlamp um, when working um, with your gear. Thanks for watching the video. Thanks for checking out the channel. Uh, if you like everything, please subscribe and share. Um, hit that bell icon uh, for notifications. Check out the affiliate links down below. That helps out the channel. And as always. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time on The Prepared Wanderer.